Hello everyone and welcome back to Lingus Nation. We are pretty close to the end of the game. We have achieved our goal. Wait, did we release Leon? I guess we did. I completely forgot about that. It's lots of all of our guys in Castile. Uh, my friend pointed out to me what uh, when he watched my the most recent Lingus video that we failed to take San Francisco, which is like one of my favorite places in the world, like in real life. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of disappointing. I really wish I had noticed that it was right there, so I could have taken it. It's also pretty well developed. Um, so that's a little upsetting, but otherwise uh, we're pretty well off. It's going to be a while till we can core anything because everything is too far away. Yeah, um, we have to core the first available things. Um, we also have these guys. I guess we made states. Yellow Russian. It's weird. We also have a lot of money. Um, our colony, one of our colonies is a little, got a little cocky. New Lingus Nation, uh, which is this one, I guess. I don't, I, they're only at 51%, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, we do have to think about what our kind of end, end goal for the game is going to be. i got to move all of our troops out of here. I was kind of thinking, since I've been talking about it for a while and I've never actually, like, done it, um, that maybe we could go to war against Castile. Or, sorry. Not Castile. We just did that. Uh, Ming is what I meant to say. We Ming has always been, like, a big enemy for us. I don't think we've ever been at war with them. We also have never been at war with the Ottomans. Um, between the two of them, I assume Ming has a larger military. Oh, the Ottomans have... Wow, the Ottomans have a larger military than we do. Um... That's weird. They they're like that's that's they must have taken quantity. They have a larger military than we do and they haven't taken quantity? Are you kidding me? They have taken they haven't even done offensive. They haven't even done the offensive one that gets you an extra manpower. Holy crap. How is their force limit so big? They just massively develop all their provinces or something? No, none like doesn't look like any of these are that well developed. That is absolutely absurd. Tell me if I'm missing something here, because it is... Oh, no, they have done quantity. Sorry, I completely missed that. Um, but still, it's still pretty ridiculous that they have that high a force limit. So it's only plus 50%, which means that I guess that they have, a, without that, around 250 or 240,000 or something. Or no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's that's still pretty absurd. I guess it's not that's not that ridiculous. Uh, we are the number one power in the game. Um, so Ming, Ming has fewer troops than they are when we do. They also don't... Allies with France? Ming is allies with France? Are you kidding me? We're going to have to see who would... I'm just going to unpause. We're going to have to see who, if we could bring any of our allies. Do we even have allies? Oh my god. I need, a, I need like a bot to just get rid of... To like reject out of hand all of those requests. Oh my god. France is allies with Russia as well. Jesus. Okay, so we could go to war with Ming. We bring Austria in. They're not that good. Are they the Emperor? No. Uh, so yeah, that would not be that would not be excellent. Um, Morocco, Morocco and Mexico would come. Wait, that's weird. Morocco and Mexico would would come in if they weren't have weren't like in war exhaustion or debt or something. It's kind of weird that they're not getting the distance penalty. Um, we could also go for the Timurids and go into Iraq or something. Go down there. I'm currently playing a game as, uh, it started out as the Mamluks. I've been playing a lot in the Middle East. Um, we could also try to go into Italy, I guess. Maybe take France. Oh, we, we could go to war with Austria. Well, they do have a lot of allies, all of whom are not particularly good. Um, Papal State and Gelra are both decent. We could go to war with France again. They do have Ming and Russia, of course. Never mind. That's really annoying. Do the Ottomans have, the Ottomans have Karakoyonlu and Tlemkin. Neither of whom are threatening at all. Um, then we might, we might be able to do, I, I don't know, we're, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to catch up on technology. Anyway, we're pretty close, but we're not close enough. And it would also be nice if we could, you're gonna mothball, start making money again. We are, that's good. Um, recover our manpower is important as well. I'll, I'll, I'll do some thinking while we're, uh, while we're recovering a little bit from this war with Castile. I have decided that Ming is the ultimate, the ultimate goal here, um. It's almost 1800. I was thinking we could declare war on them via Korea, so we wouldn't have to bring in France. But we would not be able to bring any... I allied Bengal because they're close to the Ming. I figured that would they might come in against uh, them, and Bengal is also really strong. They have like 150,000 troops. I figured that... I... 
Yeah. So none of our allies would come in against Korea. So I actually decided that <clears throat> I think in the end, declaring war straight up against the Ming will be better since all of our allies will come in. Bengal, it's fine. I don't, I won't mind giving them provinces. Um, France still would come in. And I literally moved our entire army over to uh, North China. Um, well, we have like, we still have like 30,000 guys or something on the, on the New World, but otherwise. Uh, but France just declared war or is in, is, is at war. Um, in some respect, so I'm hoping that they, we might be able to catch them not coming in, and we are going to declare war as soon as that happens. That will hopefully be soon, so we actually have time to do this war, since this will probably be our last big war, but we'll, we'll see. She's back, baby. Look who's back. Richard Dick Von Lingus. May very well be... Oh my god, she's old. Well, if Emperor Paul von Lingus, the old 505 guy, doesn't end up being our final uh, final monarch, Richard Dick von Lingus certainly will be. It's already started off a, already on a bad start. Loose lips. Um, she's pretty good. 242 is like we'll take we'll take that definitely. Um, in regards to this war, I feel like I kind of like put all my eggs in one basket here. My entire army is over here. France is not making any promising moves towards uh, <clears throat> getting out of the war. I, I, I want to try I wish I could try forcing them to break their alliance with with Ming but I we have negative prestige which is extremely annoying is there a way we could get prestige somehow um I don't think so generalship no conquistador recruit conquistador that's pretty cool there's initial levies no recruit minister no yeah <sighs> That's pretty annoying. Also, why are all my forts... Oh my god, all my forts are unmothballed. Whoops. Um, so, I'm gonna have to think of what we're gonna do over here. Um, this is gonna be... This is gonna be tight. Alright. You know what? No more messing around. I'm not waiting any longer. It's been... It's been a long time. <laughs> we have... We have not made any progress. France is not getting any closer to not coming in. Morocco and Australia would be nice. I have no troops over here. I don't know if they would be enough. Would they be enough? How big is Morocco's army? 81,000. France has 116. So France and Austria would both come in. Combined, they would have enough um, to deal with France. But So they just have to deal with France, and then it would just be me versus Ming and Korea. Ming has about 200,000 troops. Korea has about 80 or 90,000. So that's together, that's almost as much as our force limit. Not quite. Korea is a tech ahead of us, which is a little annoying. Um, or, I should say, they won't be for long, but they, they'll, they're the same tech as us. Ming is a tech behind us, so we could try to take advantage of that. Alternatively, we could just go to war with Korea, straight up. Make us go to war with John Joe, who's useless. Hosokawa, which probably won't be very effective. Um, so really, whether or not we go to war with Ming or Korea just depends on whether we think Morocco and Austria will, like, be able to beat France, and then... You know what? France is already at war. They, I'm not sure they have um, that many... I think I'm just going to declare war on Ming straight up. I know it's a little risky. A little risky, indeed. But uh, <clears throat> I might try to just occupy Korea and get Korea out of the war before, before uh, they can do anything, and then it'll just be us and Ming. Um... So, okay, here we go. Like military technology 31. We have 29,000 guys over here. Um, this means we will actually... I'm just going to raise all my... I'm going to raise all my forts. These guys... I'm going to move these guys over here a little bit so they don't just immediately get destroyed by the French. The French also... They, they have rebels. They're at war. Um, they are getting closer to not coming in. But uh, they're still gonna come in, which is a little annoying. I wish I wish it wasn't so damn high. Did they just make peace? No. Oh, they're losing. Interesting. Very interesting. So now what? Now what, indeed? I wish it's just so close. Seven. France. Are they? F they. Oh, they made peace. God damn it. All right. 
Bengal would also come in if they weren't in this damn war. Can I force you to make peace? Can I force you to make peace? Nope. Uh, how about Lan Na? No. Bengal would be really helpful. Um, but, as I said, no more, no more screwing around. We're just gonna, we're gonna go balls deep. And we're going to declare war on the Ming, bring in Morocco and Austria, uh, cross our fingers, Morocco, I mean, Bengal will maybe be able to come in at some point, but, uh, I'm not, I'm not getting my hopes up. And, uh, fire away. Fire away. This could be our death. This could be our greatest achievement or our, uh, or the end. The end of the Lingus. We do have no good generals. Wow, we have no good generals. Um, I'm gonna have this guy siege Beijing. Give him the siege guy. Um. Is that smart, or should I just keep all my guys together? I'm gonna keep all my guys together. You know, I'm actually gonna give this guy the siege guy. <clears throat> so we want to get Korea out as soon as possible. I'll move you there. I'm going to put you here. I'm going to move you there. Move you there. Move you there. Okay. Got to gotta stay tight here. So got to survive against the French. Um, who may or may not actually have any guys on the continent. They might have all their guys. Okay, no, they have a lot of guys there. Morocco and Austria are at the same level as us. France is a tech behind us. Unworthy scum in Poland. Wow. Okay. I am just not going to pay attention. You know what? Can I attach my troops? I'm gonna I'm gonna move my guys over here. I'm I'm gonna mostly try to just pay attention over here. Uh, Ming will just have free reign in this area, but I did build some strong forts. Did I? Didn't I build some strong forts? Oh, they're still building. Fuck. I have one fort here that will maybe or maybe not stop them from. Uh, <clears throat> going completely haywire on our territory. Okay, they are here, the Ming troops. Do I engage them, or do I not engage them? That's the question. Wow, this fort sucks. Mm. God, they're good generals as well. What's your What's your army comp? It's not that good. Oh, they're at 31 now, though. Which is a little unfortunate. Do I just let them go, or do I not let them go? I feel like I should let them go. Might be a bad decision. Might be a very bad decision. But I'm feeling like... No, no, Richard Dick! You can't die! Are you kidding me? She's dead! Fuck. That's terrible. That's like the end. Crap. Man, I really got my hopes up as well. Um, okay, let's start moving in here. Can you move in there? Yes, you can. I would really like better... You know what? I'm gonna make our leaders... Leader? Pull? Pretty old. I'm not gonna make you into a ruler... Or a leader, because we have no heir either. Now that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Get over there. I'm just hoping we can get Korea out fast enough. And then completely be able to focus on um, the Ming. It's probably a terrible, uh, terrible plan. Siege of Paris so far. Uh, Austria is not being too useful. Um, I'm going to pay attention over here. Oh, fuck! I thought you were going to be out of there by then. Well, that's it for that army. Wurzburgian separatists have up, risen up in Bamberg. Why are you going this way? Oh my god, you idiot. Come on, Austria. Oh my god, are you kidding me? What the fuck happened to the rest of the Austrian army there? There was like a big Austrian army there, what the hell? Oh, here they are. Morocco's not bringing their troops up. France is... Maybe France is, uh... What would France do to get out of this war? France is currently losing... Oh no, we're currently losing. Okay, so I could see Bordeaux, Saint Santonge, Paris. I don't think so. Dornagovi to Oirat. 
I would I would do this if we didn't have to give away Paris. Um, how about Anjou? How about Savoy? And Anjou. So we could give them Savoy and Anjou. How good are those provinces? In order to be able to actually win our final war. I think we're going to... What's this? What What's going on here? I'm going to give you Bordeaux, Saint-Ignan. I'm not... Oh, fuck. I'm making peace with Ming. Whoops. Um... Okay, yeah, we're gonna do this. This this is this is an this is an annoying sacrifice, but I cannot afford to be losing the massive amount of war score that France is gonna get from uh, from doing this. And this is not gonna break the lingus. This is fine. Um, these provinces I don't consider particularly important anyway. If it had gotten up into like Nantes or something, I would have I would have been mad and I wouldn't have let them do that. But I don't really care about these provinces, so we're just gonna let France get the hell out of here. Okay. A little unfortunate, a little unfortunate. France is back to being a little larger. But, uh... Clergy wants a province. Okay. Um, now what? Now... Now we just keep fighting Ming, I guess. I'm, gonna, I'm hoping Austria and Morocco bring some troops over here. <clears throat> Trierian separatists? Are you joking? Trierian separatists? Oh, into Aachen. I completely forgot about Aachen. How is it's kind of annoying that France has gotten this big again. But uh, we fo we focus too much on France in this game. Got to get Beijing. Got to have the two the two like capitals on the on each end of Eurasia. We have Paris in the uh, in the west and Beijing in the east. And nice little nine thousand strong Ming guy sitting over here. Um, oh, of course they can just go. Around. That's a little annoying. Well, we'll be catching up to them uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. So, like to basically be able to piece out Korea as soon as possible. Which is actually pretty soon. Okay, we just destroyed some. You're gonna run away. Okay. I do not want those guys attacking me. Let's be able to get Korea out as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Got a new idea group. We are going to take quality because that's the best for the first like two or three. Um, and then we're going to keep playing. Austria does not appear to be moving their guys over here, which is a little annoying. Morocco, I don't know what the hell you're doing, but you're not being too helpful. Luckily, Korea is not actually showing their faces, which is pretty nice. I know Ming is... Okay, well, we got Shenyang. That's good. I'm going to start... I'm going to go over and start sieging Beijing. Um, move some more guys over in this direction, just in case. Because that is our war goal, so taking that will be important. Korea is getting ever closer to... Not... Uh, or piecing out. God damn, Lingus Nation. Damn, damn, damn. My consolation, I'm hoping that Austria, like, eventually does something over here. Austria, why don't you, like, help me? We literally have one target here. Okay. Will Korea make peace? No, they will not. A little bit annoying. Holy crap, 85%? Wow. Oh, we don't even have enough. Uh, okay, we're gonna move some more cannons in there. Move more cannons in. Move you in. I'm gonna move the uh, infantry out. All right, it looks like Austria is moving. I don't know what happened to the rest of their troops. Um, I wish I wish I could like I wish they could tell me what they were doing. Where's Where's the other seventy thousand troops of theirs? I'm hoping they're oh they're right there. Oh my god, they're right there. All right, Austria. That'll be a little helpful. I won't. They won't have enough troops to actually stop the Ming, but they will have enough to uh to slow them down. All right. Korea will get out of the war. Um, can I take some money? Come on, Korea. Give me some money. Give me the money. All right, 74 bucks. 
24 bucks and they're out. Fine by me. I don't want Korean territory in this war. I want Chinese territory. And uh, Chinese territory is what we're going to go for here. So we can also start making some progress uh, unseaging all these. Uh, hello, there's a large Chinese army over there. Um, are they coming back or are they leaving? They appear to be leaving. Austria has avoided conflict so far. To fight oh my god, they're like totally surrounded here. Nice if Austria was a tech ahead. They are not. Unless if Morocco did something, they are not. I could now move my move my armies over in that direction. What the fuck is this? Why is there an oi rat right here? I don't recall there being an oi rat here. Did I release oi rat because of France's? Holy crap, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Did I release Dornagovi in the in the peace deal with France? Wow. That was not intentional. Um, we still have a connection. So that's fine. That's all I care about. Siege of Beijing is over. We gotta redo all these troops. Alright, we actually have a positive war score. Fucking Dornagovi. I mean Oirat. God damn it, that's so annoying. I'm just gonna, yeah, we, we have, we have an easy siege of, like, all of um, these guys. Oh my god, they lost a battle. Where are you going? I should really follow these guys. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. Well, I guess I will be able to with these guys. Can you... If I can get rid of these troops right now. That would be fantastic. Okay, go over here. That is mountains. Uh, you have four maneuver. I need to get my four maneuver general. Where is it? Seventh army? Why do I have all my guys sitting here? Damn it. Okay, we, we lost uh we lost track of that. Lost track of that guy. Whatever, I'm gonna keep moving down this direction. That is so annoying, oh, rat. At least give me military access. Uh, no, we don't need war taxes. It's too late in the game for that. We will do quality ideas. That should help us out. Okay, I'm gonna keep... No, no, no. Let's wait till we get the thing from Oirat. Oirat, thank you. Alright. How's it going over here, Austria? Okay, Austria's fighting. That's good. Uh, Morocco still hasn't shown their faces, but I'm glad Austria is helping out. So in principle, we could make... Could we make a white piece now? Yeah, we could. We can even take something. I want Beijing. That's all I want. Oh my god, I could take Beijing. And then we'd have time for another war. What the fuck? Is that, is that like lame? Is that lame or is that not lame? You know what? I'm going to end the video here. I want you guys to tell me. Should I make peace with China right now? Um, we would have chance for one more war, maybe in Europe, uh, maybe against France or something. Maybe we could declare war on... Oirat is actually, you know what, we've had that since the beginning of the game. We've had this. So maybe we could declare war on Oirat. We'd, that would mean going to war with Russia, but only Russia? And how large is Russia's force limit? Um, they, they have fewer troops than we do. Also, our force limit has gone down by so much, which makes sense, but we must be losing a huge amount of money. That's nothing. So yeah, tell me. Tell me what you think I should do. Keep keep staying at war with China, take a lot of their territory, or take Beijing right now, make peace, then declare war on Oirat. Take back our, our Mongol territory here, which is, of course, rightfully ours um, till the end. That would mean a war with Russia, but I'm confident we could do that. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to uh, to hearing your ideas for what we should do.